Good morning, my dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine. Students, today I am here with the video of lesson number three, working with Windows Seven. Students, before starting the chapter, let us have a look on the contents of this chapter. And the contents are features of Windows Seven. starting windows the task bars the start button files and folders creating a file creating a folder opening a file or folder using context menu what is a shortcut students before starting the chapter can you tell me what is operating system an operating system is a program designed to run other programs on a computer a computer's operating system is its most important program it is considered as the backbone of a computer managing both software and hardware resources There are many different operating systems. Some of the popular operating systems are Windows, Linux, and Unix. Windows is a graphical user interface that is GUI. It is pronounced as GUI between a computer and its users. students the first version of windows operating system was windows 1.0 since then many versions of windows have been released the most popular versions of windows are windows 98 windows 2000 windows me windows xp windows vista windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 Windows 10 is the latest version. Students, why Windows 7 has got the most popularity? The reason is its features and the features of Windows 7 are it is attractive, interactive and very easy to use. Second, it has made searching easier. Third, it is having a flexible task bar it supports multitasking now students what is multitasking windows can perform more than one task at a time for example we can type letters in ms word while enjoying music using windows media player so students how can we start windows 7 when we switch on a computer windows starts automatically and displays a welcome message it is followed by the first screen called desktop it contains some graphical symbols called icons the two most important icons on the desktop are computer and recycle bin see students these all are icons this is my computer icon this is recycle bin and this screen is known as desktop screen here in the corner start button is there see and here task bar is there students using computer folder we can access all the folders and files stored in a computer It is useful for finding, organizing, moving and copying files in a computer. Recycle bin. When we delete a file or folder, it goes to the recycle bin. Student, here I just want to tell you one fact. Bill Gates is the founder of Microsoft company. Microsoft company used to make the this one our windows 7 operating system and rest of the systems which is 
named as Windows 7, 8, ME, 10, etc. The task bar. See students, this is the task bar. On the task bar, here start button is there, quick launch icon is there, notification area and clock is there. The task bar can be seen at the bottom of the screen. It has a start button, its left side notification area. On its right side, the notification area contains clock and icons for program that usually run in the background are also seen here. Okay class? The start button. This is the most used button on Windows desktop. When we click on the start button, a menu displaying the major options can be seen. See, these options provide access to the main program on the computer. Now, next topic is files and folders. Student, what is a file? It is a collection of related information stored together on some storage device such as hard disk, CD, DVD or pen drive. As we keep important papers in file now, similarly any information saved in a computer is saved in the form of a file. Now what is a folder? A folder in a computer is just like a cabinet where we keep relevant files. A folder can hold other folders as well. A folder within a folder is called a subfolder. Okay students, so the next topic is creating a file. So, how can you create a file? The most common way to create a file is by using any application. So, what you have to do? Just omen MS Word. Start typing text on the blank page. After completing your work, save your file using office button here in the corner and then save option from that. This will create a new file. Next is, how can you create a folder? Right click on the blank area of the desktop. Then, click on new option. Select folder option. Write the name of folder and new folder will be created. This time, folders will be created. Now, we have, we have done the file and folder creation. Now how can we open a file or folder? To open any file or folder, simply double click on file or folder. Double click on file or folder to open it. Students, now how can you use context menu? When you right click on any icon, a pop-up menu appears which is called context menu. Using this menu, you can access and save your time to access commands. The context menu is also called shortcut menu. Now, what is a shortcut? A shortcut is an icon that provides an easy and quick way to open any application or software that we use frequently. Okay, it's time for the difficult words now. First word is Linux, L-I-N-U-X, Linux. Second is version, V-E-R-S-I-O-N, version. Third is Vista, Vista, V-I-S-T-A, Vista. Fourth is attractive, A-T-T-R-A-C-T-I-V-E, attractive. Fifth is multitasking. M U L T I T A S K I N G. Multitasking. M U L T I T A S K I N G. Multitasking. Six is icons. I C O N S. Icons. Seventh is folder. 
F O L D E R folder eighth is context C O N T E X T context ninth is appearance A double P E A R A N C E appearance tenth is properties P R O P E R T I E S properties and one activity is given here to state true or false first the task bar can be dragged to any of the four sides of the desktop second in windows we can run only one program at a time third windows 98 is the first graphical version of windows fourth an operating system controls all the activities of a computer fifth when an application is active its button on the taskbar is highlighted in a glitter sheet and appears to be pushed in class please see the video go through the chapter properly and solve this activity section be safe thank